So access to information is not just important as, as a fact, but how you access it is equally important. And that involves having privacy, having security around your connection to the internet. So especially if you're a new user, it's important that by default, uh, your access, your connections, your communications are encrypted, are safe from the world. The most important thing for digital participation is that people don't fear to speak up. In many countries, this is not the case because they fear the consequences. We need safe spaces where people really can communicate freely and openly and without fear. And, and when we look at the platforms at the moment, they are not really built for the user needs, they are built for consumers. Uh, we need to spread the word on trust because if people don't have trust on the internet then they're going to be scared of using internet services and of course internet is such a tool with such an enormous potential for social transformation and for democratization of communication services. Unfortunately, the, the, the journalist safety is, uh, is in a threat uh, since a few years and it's getting worse every year. Journalists are usually followed by, by authorities, by other um, uh, entities that, that doesn't want them to speak out, doesn't want them to do their work. So when they keep safe, they, they keep themselves safe online, then they can do their work better and they can keep themselves safe as well. The most important thing is to protect our sources uh, and uh, if we are not safe on the internet it's very easy for hackers or for, uh, for enemies to, uh, to know our sources and make them in danger. So we're developing an app called Tela that encrypts and hides uh, photo, video and audio files on the device. You have to look specifically for the camouflaged version of the app. I hid it as a calculator, and so if I tap on calculator, uh, the app appears. Uh, we see a lot of physical repression of activists and journalists. Um, they get checked, uh, they get uh, searched uh, when they document human rights abuse, when they document um, uh, activities by civil society. Uh, the devices get seized and, and searched, and very often that leads to de detention, uh, arrest, uh, and sometimes worse. Uh, there is a lot of organizations that provide uh, digital security, like Frontline Defenders, like uh, RSF, like uh, Deutsche Welle Academy. So uh, having a training with these uh, organizations is the best. Also that there is many, many guides online that you can follow and you can um, change the way you, you uh, deal online, your passwords, how, how you post and what do you post, that makes you more safe.